So we got a studio. Welcome back, Erwin here with Building A Media. I know it's been a while, close to like six months since we last uplo uploaded a video, and I know that's terrible, but we haven't kind of fallen off the wagon. We've really been pushing at it just in different ways. Uh, you know, and obviously life happens. I actually got a different job uh, six months ago, which has kind of shifted a lot of the, my routines and things like that. Um, and Frank's been doing his own thing for the last six, six months. So even though it may seem like we haven't been doing much in terms of film and things like that, we really haven't. We haven't forgotten about it. And any, if anything, we've actually kind of pushed forward. As you can see, we're in a new, I'm in a new location. This is our studio. It does have some terrible, terrible carpet but we'll fix that later on. So a lot of our videos are gonna be based right out of here, which is awesome. Um, and hopefully, and well, actually, I don't wanna go into it too much because I'm waiting for Frank to come back up and then we'll do a video on the studio. For right now, what I wanted to do is focus on microphones for today. I wanted to make a video that's gonna be about you're getting your first microphone, or your first high-end microphone, and what you should be doing with it. Um, the other day I was talking to Frank and he let me know he was going to put in this microphone, it's just a USB mic, plug it into his computer and then pull up a Windows audio recorder, if you remember that, and start doing his audio from there, which is crazy. Blew my mind. I was like, I didn't even realize that program still existed, never, never mind actually using it. So. I figured, you know what, I tried to explain to him, you know, this is what you should be doing, but I'm like, I'm gonna do a video and hopefully not just him, but everybody else can benefit from it as well. So here we go. First thing you're gonna need obviously is, an, is a USB microphone. So let's assume you already got that. I have a blue Yeti Pro here, which is awesome. Um, uh, most people have like the silver one, which is USB only. The only real difference is that this one has XLR out and, and USB. So if you don't really need XLR, then the silver one or the, the, all the other colors are basically fine. Only, that's the only difference. I'm sure they probably have other things in the Pro that make it like better, because uh, it's like more than double the price, but most people just buy it for the XLR. So when you get your mic, you're gonna plug it into your computer, and then you're gonna start to pull up Audacity. Audacity is a free program, which is crazy. I don't understand how they're free. They've been free for years, and they're very, very, very good. So go to the Audacity website, download it, install it. You just wanna make sure that you're changing your source that is pulling from the USB on the Yeti and not from like the random microphone that's probably in your computer or something. And then that's it. It's basically your, your, you have your Yeti plugged in, ready to go, uh, ready to start doing your first, your first recording in Audacity and that's it. But one thing you wanna make sure though, is you wanna have, you, you always wanna leave yourself like a few seconds before and after you start. I usually just say five seconds or if I'm recording for someone else, same thing, I'll say wait five seconds and then start talking. Uh, because you, what you wanna do is the, you wanna make sure you have like that, just the room noise, so that when you run your the uh, noise reduction later on, you're pulling the you're pulling the little sample of the room from that from the beginning five seconds. So I'll do that with you right now. So let's uh, let's let's see this. So now I'm sitting at my desk. I have the Yeti plugged into the computer. I have my headphones plugged directly into the Yeti, which makes things a lot easier for monitoring. Um, later on, I'll go through and recheck it on the computer to make sure it looks good. But your computer screen should really look like this. The only thing that's really important is once you launch it, you're gonna make sure that you switch the microphone setting because it's gonna default to whatever the garbage one is, the internal microphone here. Switch that down, make sure it says Blue Yeti Pro. You may, or whatever microphone you have, you may have to download the drivers, of course, to make it work depending on the microphone. I had to do that for this one. Um, also, quick trick, um, if you have Windows 10, which I'm kind of new to the game on, um, you're gonna want to make you're gonna have some weird issues with Audacity. This is what you're gonna want to do to fix it because you're gonna get a weird error saying that it's unable to pull the microphone, blah blah blah, some weird nonsense. So what you have to do is you're gonna go to in Windows 10 again. You're gonna go to your settings, and then you're gonna go to privacy, and then you're gonna go to microphone. And then allow apps by default. Microsoft turns this off, so you're gonna want to click. Uh, so you're gonna want to just change that and make it on. Once you do that, then you can close it and go back to here and change your settings, and you're fine. But that's that was really annoying, um, and it took me a few minutes to figure that one out. But anyways, so now that you're here, uh, we are pretty much looking good. Now we're recording our audio. The only other thing that you're gonna to want to learn real quick is to remove the background noise from the video or from the audio itself. And that's super easy. All you have to do is once you stop your, your recording, and I'm not gonna stop this here because it's gonna mess up my microphone here. 
but what you're gonna what you're gonna want to do is just click on uh, effect and then you're gonna want to go down to noise reduction and then follow the directions in there um, or just YouTube it like everyone else does and you'll be fine but that's pretty much the only other thing you really need to know there's a bunch of different things that you can do but the most commonly used things are just getting in here clicking start to record and then just the uh, noise whoops and then going to the effect well, if I can do it right, and then going into the uh, effect area and then the no noise reduction. That's pretty much all you need to know. So I hope I was able to help you guys out with this. Um, give a like and subscribe and all that fun stuff if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.